Hello everyone, how is it going? I hope all of you guys are having a nice and wonderful Thursday. We are almost into the weekend and today is October 28th of 2021 and in this video I am going to be recording, well I am recording, and showing a video, y'all, the video of tons of stuff that I got recently part one. There's also more stuff that I'm not going to show in this video but I'll be showing it in part two of the video. I hope all of you guys find this stuff interesting and entertaining. Without a further ado, let's get started and untangled. <laughs> First thing I got in my hands is the beautiful, gorgeous three-button layer. I mean, three-button controller of the Sega Genesis official controller. Now I got this, and I'll be honest with y'all, I did pay fifty bucks for everything, but that's for everything in part one and two total. Except for Top Gun soundtrack, I got that at the dollar store yesterday, and I'll be showing that next. And um, anyway, I got the three button layers. I mean, three button Sega Genesis controller. You have your A button right here, B button, and C button right here. Then you got your Start button. Then you got the directional pads that goes up, down, left, and right. And it is the official Sega Genesis controller. Obviously, y'all can see that. And uh, this was the first Genesis controller to come out back in the 80s. Well, late 80s, early 90s, it was popular and commonly used as this controller. Now, this is my first three-button uh, controller. And uh, I have the six-button Genesis controller, the official party Genesis controller of uh, six-button uh, controller. And this is the three-button layout. That's just one of the things I got recently. <laughs> Next we have the original motion picture soundtrack of one of my favorite Tom Cruise movies of all time. I'm a fan of some of his movies, and this one is totally awesome. I recommend this film. I love this film, and I love the soundtrack, and I recommend the soundtrack to everybody. You got the song called Danger Zone by Kenny Loggins, and you got Cheap Trick Band, and then you got... um. You got Berlin, you got Loverboy, you got Larry Green, other great artists on here. And all of the songs from Top Gun soundtracks right here. Recommended. Uh, the next two games I'm going to be, sh the next two things I'm going to be showing y'all is video games. I did get the Sega Game Gear games, but I didn't, um, the friend, my friend that uh, found uh, couldn't find a controller, so, I mean, the system, but I got the games for the Sega Game Gear, and I'm happy to, and thankful to have that, and let me move this over here, for y'all can see me better with that light out of the way, and I apologize for the mess in the living room, guys, I'm about to clean up afterwards, this video, uh, the first game I got is a one to two player game, and it's called The Streets of Rage, I have played this on the Genesis before, the Sega Genesis, this is a great uh, port from what I heard of the Game Gear version of the Genesis. I heard this one's just as good as the Genesis version. Next we got, I have the Genesis version of this one. And now I got the Sega Game Gear version of Spider-Man. Now this, it was a good, it's a good game on the Genesis and it's hard as hell to play on the Genesis. To beat in Genesis, on the Sega Genesis version. But uh, this is the Sega Game Gear version. I haven't played it yet. I haven't played none of my Game Gears games yet. Because I can't find the system. But that's okay. I'll have some games when I find the Game Gear. Uh, next we got is a music cassette. Bob Rivers and Twisted Radio. Twisted Tunes 1994. The year in review. And it shows this. It's on cassette. Haven't listened to it yet, but I recommend uh, anything that everything that I got here. Next, we got every great Motown hit of Marvin Gaye. Now he's the original singer that sings. I heard it for, through the grapevine and all of that. Now he's a legendary artist. I think he's one of the best artists of the '60s, no doubt about that. And this cassette is from 1993. Hold on, is it? No, I'm sorry, guys. 1983. 
This uh, originally came out in se uh, some hits for 72, 73, 77. And this is uh, the copy final copyright was 1983. So this came out in the early 80s. Glad I had that in my cassette collection. Y'all might remember my cassette collection that I did uh, a couple years ago. I might uh, do a cassette collection again eventually. Because now I have over 100 of them in my collection. Next we got Caught in the Act Sticks. I was so excited to get this one and my friend tricked me. My friend Steven tricked me because when I... Not really, but I always say trick. But anyway, uh, it has Carry My Wayward Son. And when I seen that song, I knew it was the best of Kansas album. But that's okay. I love Kansas, the band. So either way, I'm happy with that. I just got to find the cassette online to uh, complete this. And the last four, that I mean, and I got four more cassettes to show y'all. We got Ugly Kid Joe, Everywhere About You. I mean, Everything About You, Clean Edit. Ed, I mean, Edit. Then we got Ugly Kid Joe, Everything About You, Clean Edit version 2 from 1991. Right there. Next, we got... um. My favorite Phil Collins album of all time. If any of you don't know, I am a huge fan of Phil Collins. He's one of my favorite artists of all time. He's probably my favorite artist behind Roy Orbison or Roy Orbison behind Phil Collins. But anyway, they're both my favorite artists. And this is my favorite album of Phil Collins, the iconic No Jacket Required. And I tested this out and I played it. This one works. If y'all haven't listened to this album, whatever y'all do, please listen to it. Because you got Don't Lose My Number, Who Said I Would, Doesn't Anybody Stay Together Anymore, Inside Out, Take Me Home. Then on the back, we got Susudio, Only You and I Know, Long, Long Way to Go, I Don't Want to Know, and my iconic favorite, not my iconic, but one of the iconic songs, One More Night. And on the back, that's what it says. Next, we got Sir Mix a Lot, which is a good rap group. And they got Baby Got Back. This is the album version, it says on the back. And then it says Cake Boy on Sir Mix a Lot. This is the 1992 version. I'm going to get some cases to complete these. In the sleeves for them because I am a cassette collector. And uh, anyway, next we got an iconic album known as Guns N' Roses Live and Let Die. I rather Paul McCartney's version of Live and Let Die, by the way, compared to Guns N' Roses version, but Guns N' Roses sings it pretty good, no doubt about that. Right there. And you got this in the front, too. Pretty cool. That's all the cassettes I got recently. Now let's get back to one more, uh, well, two more games that I got recently after this. Uh, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six on the Sega Dreamcast. I had this on a Nintendo 64, sold it like an idiot. But luckily I got Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six on the Sega Dreamcast. Now I heard this is the better version to play it on than the N64 version. So I'm glad I picked this game up. And based on what I remember playing Rainbow Six years ago, I really recommend that game. And this game is for, if I'm not mistaken, I know it's for the computer, but it, this is my first computer game in a long ass time that I got. Uh, NASCAR Heat CD-ROM game. Look for the complete NASCAR Heat game at your local retailer. This is from 2000. And um, I do remember NASCAR Heat coming out. I was a fan of NASCAR at the time. You got Dale Earnhardt Sr., Jr. Then you had Jeff Gordon coming out. Uh, not coming out, but like racing and stuff like that. I loved NASCAR back then. That's when NASCAR was very good. And on the back, you can see the car. That's how graphics look back in the day, y'all. If y'all haven't played any old games y'all just played new games this is what it looks like the older games I remember thinking that was realistic graphics at the time same with N64 graphics I didn't even think 
things could get any better than the N64 and then boom a new console came out and look at look where we're at now it's gotten better the graphics wise and uh but it's about the gameplay y'all not the graphics in my opinion uh anyway we got four more C we got four more items we got four CDs left and then I'll end the video and I will be doing part two eventually Part 2 is going to be showing VHS tapes that I got recently. Some even sealed. We got Ride Store Downtown Train. Now this one, uh, the case is not in the greatest shape. But it is definitely in good shape, the disc is. Tested it out and it works. Love this album. It's my favorite Ride Store album with Downtown Train on it. Then you guys, uh, tonight the, Tonight's the Night. Then you got Passion, Young Turks, Forever Young, My Heart Can't Tell You No, and Downtown Train. Next, I haven't listened to the rest of these, but they look pretty good. Merry Cajun Christmas, Various Artists. Our Lone Holiday Entertainment. It shows Santa Claus on a canoe, it looks like, with two alligators. <laughs> and if you look close, you can see a turtle right here. They were, uh, my friend Steven was cleaning out the, uh, shed of his, or office, or whatever it is. And, uh, he found all of this, and I just bought it off of him. So now he gets to survive another day with his wife, because his wife will kill him if he had more stuff. But, um, anyway, next one we got is Wayne Watson, water, uh, watercolor, po uh, ponies. Now, he's a comedian, I think. I know this next guy I'm going to be showing is comedian. But, uh... No, wait, this is an album. Let's see what year this is from. I'm very curious now. 1987. Holy cow. That's cool. But, um, if y'all have listened to this, please let me know what y'all think about it. And the final item that I'll be sh that I'm going to be showing in this video is Mark Laurie remotely controlled CD. He's a stand-up comedian. He's pretty funny, and um, I really recommend uh, checking him out on YouTube if y'all haven't. I have watched some videos on YouTube of him before. When I think about it, he is a good he's a good comedian, no doubt about that. And that's all the stuff that I got recently, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and show everything in a recap, and then I'll end this video. Let me uh, get everything situated first. Let's see. Rainbow Six, NASCAR Heat, Rod Store, Merry Cajun Christmas, or something like that. These. These. And this. Okay, first thing, Sega Genesis 3 button controller, the official party controller. It was from 1989 when the Genesis came out in America. Uh, next we got Marvin Gaye. Every great Motown hit of Marvin Gaye is spectacular performances. Then we got um, Bob Rivers and the Twisted Radio. I love these old cassette cases. They're so cool. And by the way, guys, yes, I do cas like collect music because I am a big fan of music. And I believe this is the first time I've ever shown a CD and video on YouTube and other sites. Uh, Top Gun, the official soundtrack. Guns N' Roses, Live and Let Die. Sir Mix a Lot. Then we got Phil Collins, No Jacket Required, which I love that album. Then we got uh, Ugly Kid Joe. Then we got Sticks Caught in the Act and came to find out it was Kansas. <laughs> then we got um, Streets of Rage. On a Sega Game Gear. Spider-Man on a Sega Game Gear. 
which is uh, one of my favorite Spider-Man games, the Genesis version is. Number one is Spider-Man 2000, possibly. Second is going to be the new Spider-Man game on the PS4. The reason why I say Spider-Man 2000 is number one on my list is because it's so nostalgic to me. The N64 version. But anyway, Merry Cajun Christmas, various artists. Oh, oh, oh! Anyway, Ross Store Downtown Train. NASCAR Heat on PC. Rainbow Six, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six on the Sega Dreamcast. And the last two items, Wayne Watson Watercolor Ponies. Then we got Mark Lowry uh, Remotely Controlled. And yes, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I'm sorry that the living room's a mess. I gotta clean it up after this video is over with. I hope all of you guys enjoyed this video. If y'all did, feel free to comment, rate, or like this video. And subscribe to me to see more videos on here. And um, I'll be making part two eventually. And this is the Video Gamer 64 signing off. <laughs> signing off.